I need no credentials. I'm General Petard, I tell you. That means nothing here. And now for the second half of this evening's workshop program, we present The Last Citation by John Whedon. On a hillside, in the late afternoon, they are burying General Paytown. Full of years, campaigns, and medals, the general died in his bed. He will rest now as he wished on this quiet slope overlooking the graves of thousands of men whom he commanded. Sleep well, General. You must forgive him. He died young. He died? Of course. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What place is this? No place. Consider yourselves already dead. What's this? Who are these men? Surely you recognize the court-martial, General. Your Honor, gentlemen, the accused, General Petard. The court is now in session. Advocate for the prosecution. Your Honor, and gentlemen of the court, I will be brief in my summary. You have seen that this man, Petard, at the age of 17, dedicated himself to a career of organized murder. I have shown that it was a free choice and that his sole motive then and throughout his life was personal glory and power. In his lifetime, he was responsible for the torture and death of millions of his fellow men and for the suffering of their families. And throughout all this, the only justification he has ever offered is that ancient and meaningless incantation, War is War. Oh, how awful. find the defendant guilty of murder. Guilty? I thought everybody knew that. Workshop has presented as its 54th program two short fantasies. An incident of the cosmos by Paul Y. Anderson, famous political correspondent of the St. Louis Post Dispatch, and the last citation by John Whedon of the editorial staff of the New Yorker magazine. Bernard Herrmann composed a special musical score.
Lead for the Columbia Workshop by Davidson Taylor, with original musical score by Bernard Herrmann, to be conducted by Alexander Semler. Franz Kafka's The Trial, with Carl Swenson as Joseph K., and produced for the Columbia Workshop by Guy Della Chapa. Everybody knew that.